we are here at the 81st annual conference for the People's National Party. The PNP hoping to wow its supporters and comrades because Dr. Peter Phillips, the party leader, has only recently saved off a very fierce competition from Peter Bunting for presidency. But will Dr. Phillips be able to wow his supporters? Let's find out. Comrades turned out in their numbers on Sunday. To listen to recently returned party leader Dr. Peter Phillips speak at the 81st annual conference. Dr. Phillips was able to successfully fend off a leadership challenge from fellow comrade and member of parliament for central Manchester, Peter Bunting. And there was concern that the party was still smarting from the deep divisions caused during the campaign. But it was a confident and seemingly unperturbed Dr. Peter Phillips who addressed Sunday's crowd. Following a brief nod to his defeated competitor and a public display of solidarity, Dr. Phillips pressed ahead with his plans to wrest power from the ruling Jamaica Labour Party, JLP, given his new mandate. Our mission is to build a Jamaica where all Jamaicans can share a sense of common purpose. We want a Jamaica where everyone, not just a few, have a chance to step up in life. We want a Jamaica where first-class health care is available to all the people. We want a Jamaica where enterprise and hard work is rewarded, whether you're a small business or a big businessman or just a higgler in the market. We want a Jamaica where creativity is promoted and where criminality is replaced by business activity. We want a Jamaica, in this Jamaica that we want, workers will be properly rewarded and treated with dignity. Dr. Phillips says the PNP is here to rescue Jamaicans from a corrupt and ineffective government. He says addressing the breakdown of the family structure is crucial to curbing the crime problem crippling the country. I want to say something that you don't often hear from politicians. But if we're going to succeed in building the kind of Jamaica that all of us dream of, a Jamaica that is wealthy, where everyone have a fair chance, where everyone cares for each other, where we have low levels of crime, we're going to have to do something about the quality of family life in our country. All the evidence shows that two children who grow up with two parents involved in their lives, nurturing them, loving them, perform better in life than those who don't have that. And yet in our country, more than half of our children are in single parent homes. You can't legislate these things. You have to persuade. And we intend in the next PNP government, in the Ministry of Social Transformation that we will form, we intend to set up an institute for healthy family life to encourage people, along with churches and unions and community groups, to encourage people to know and value and respect the virtues of family life. He says reforming the police force and collaborating with international agencies will be required to address the crime situation. We will have to reform the police force and at the same time we have to build up our intelligence gathering capabilities and you have to have international cooperation. But hear me, it can be just state of emergency alone. You need something more, a comprehensive plan. The PNP president bemoaned the lack of formal certification amongst most of the working class. The number one mission of the next PNP administration that I will lead will be the transformation of the education system of our country. We can't attract the industries that pay high wages. If 70% of our workforce have no formal qualifications, no certificate, no nothing, 
I know that you know that today many of our high schools are graduating students who are not ready for the world of work. It's not their fault. It's the school system, the system that is failing them. He says one of the PNP's main concerns is equal access to education across the country. We want a Jamaica where all children have access to good quality education. We want a Jamaica where you don't have to left your yard at Morant Bay as a child of 14 and 15 and 11 at 5 o'clock in the morning and come back at 8 o'clock at night just because the school next door is not giving a good quality education. We want children to have to stop travel hundreds of miles every day because of the failings of our education system. Dr. Phillips used his platform to once again criticize the JLP government for the issues plaguing the housing market. He says all Jamaicans deserve to own a piece of the island and vowed that the PNP will make it happen. We have over 700,000 Jamaicans that them call squatters in the land of their birth. They are crying out for opportunity, for a home, for a place to settle with themselves and their families. It's not worthless people, it's people who have not been given an opportunity by the system in the country. The next PNP administration will make the most comprehensive assault on squatting and homelessness ever made in our country. This is not just chat. We are going to amend the laws. We have identified them, over 50 laws, and we are going to amend them to provide a pathway to land ownership for those 700,000 people where them say no live nowhere. Them going to live somewhere in a government, in a country led by the People's National Party. I am Leslie Anshar reporting for Scene Caribbean News.